Adventures now. So These movies are a collection of stories to tell us about wildlife at Pukakura Park. 2008 was the pilot year of a project called 60 Springs. Devon Intermediate has teamed up with Pukiariki to research fish, birds, insects and frog life. These videos were made by each study group as a record of their research. Our group was surveying the water clarity, the depth and overall habitat of the fish. We used a long test tube to help us see just how clear the water is here. We found that the water was actually clearer than it seemed. Looking at the ponds, we thought the water was pretty disgusting at first, but in the test tube we could see it wasn't actually that bad at all. In fact, we rated the water quality between 85 and 95 out of 100. That's pretty clean, despite the duck and fish poo. We measured the depth of the water because this will tell us what problems we might expect with the water flow. Some parts of the lake can clog up with debris. It's quite hard to see the fish in the park because the water is so murky. So we were able to see fish captured by the park curators. Some were dead and preserved in alcohol and some were alive in tanks. Fish were in the world first, so we have to respect their environment as they don't hunt ours or they don't hunt us. This survey has helped us understand fish and their importance in our world. Go. Hello and welcome to PVTV. This is our first broadcasting event. I'm Gloriana and I'm Tage. We hope you enjoy it. Now, Gloriana, what is this project about? Well, we have been coming here for about maybe two months now and we have a look at all these insects and our main one is glowworms and we're trying to see if there is any glowworms in the park. This is a group of Devon Intermediate students who are looking for insects in Pukura Park, New Plymouth, New Zealand. The students had to search for sticks and leave to see what kind of insects there are. Then they had to identify them by looking in special books. Part of our project was seeing what the temperature of the air was at that site. We checked to see if the air temperature changes over time and see how the temperature affects the insects. This is Chris. What's your job at the park? Yeah, good morning. Um, I'm Chris Conley. I'm the curator of Pukekura Park, which really means that I sort of look after everything and manage the staff that are working here every day. Okay, so what's the weirdest insect you've probably ever seen in the park? Oh, weirdest insect. Probably the prairie moth. Okay. That's um, a big green. It's just huge. It's a big green. It yeah. comes, comes out at night, only at a certain time of the year, but it's a bit unusual. It's a lot bigger than anything else. Cool. And is there anything you know about the glowworms or insects that might be able to help us? Uh, no, I don't know too much about them and that's why I was really interested in the fact that you were studying them. And I thought, well, perhaps you guys could teach me about them. I know where a lot of them are and I know that they sort of hang down on a little thread and glow to attract the insects to, to eat and that they like sort of sheltered dark places that are perhaps a little bit moist. But no, I don't really know very much about them at all, so I'm hoping that uh, I'll learn a lot from you and then that we can make sure that we keep the poems in the park. Okay, thank you. That was Chris Connolly from Pukekura Park. We're here at Pukekura Park on the 5th of September 2008 at the Frog Pond and we're surveying insects and listening to frog calls. That's what you're doing. Um, well, I'm just surveying the frogs that we got because every second week we come here and just listen for the frogs and then if we hear some we try and work out which frogs they are and then we come over to the pond here and we survey the bugs that we catch to see if there's any change between the different species of bugs. Have you heard any frogs yet? Um, not yet, but a couple of weeks ago we actually heard a whistling tree frog, but then we can find it. So far we have heard only one frog call and that was found by two girls, Chelsea and Hannah. This is where we heard it. The girls were surveying insects and found quite a few, including 17 back swimmers. And then Chelsea was able to record them by using a bugs fox. Actually totally sure. This survey helped us identify and find out what kind of insects were in the pond of Pukakura Park. Pukekura Park is one of the most beautiful places to relax and have fun. 
You can guarantee that you will see lots of different varieties of birds and their magnificent habitats. We are a group of students from Devon Intermediate studying birds including ducks and the two Canadian geese. As you can see, the ducks are getting fed some prey by a man and his child, but this is not their proper diet. They should eat small water animals, plants and insects like young beetles, bugs and dragonflies. Um, Mesh is just getting some samples off this berry tree thing, or we're not quite sure what it is, but here I'll just come closer to it. There have been sightings in the orange and white flowers of little birds, possibly sparrows. We think they like the insects on the flowers. We learned from the survey that there are lots of different birds in the park. We cannot always see them, but you can hear them 24-7. We must protect these birds so other people can enjoy them. We hope you enjoyed our 60 Springs project film. We will be working on this project throughout 2009. Our class really enjoyed our time with Pukiariki research staff and we look forward to more good learning.